Hello, we're back. Today we're going to paint a pig in the field, um, an out outdoor setting. So I want to add my pig's head somewhere here. So the, our pig is like rounded face. Not too round, but it's like a rounded face. So we're going to sketch that round face. This is the cheek and the chin going that way. And it's like not so straight line, but it's kind of following a straight line. And then going up. Don't worry about it. We can modify it also later on. Um, one of our ear, I like folded, it's like flip flops, and then one is sticking out like that. It's like listening to the um, music. The nose of our pig is like an upside down peach or a kind of heart but not sharp in here so it's like that um, this tutorial is for beginners very simple and very kitty This is great for a display for a kid's room. Uh, also a gift. If you want to do a gift for a little kid. This is one good way to let them, especially when they like or they love pigs. And then of course a pig is a round round body proportion and of course the very special and important one the curly tail so don't forget that curly tail in there um, we don't really want to show the detail of our leg uh, it's standing I want to I want to show that it's standing in the field in the grass field so one of our eyes is in here and one of our eyes is in here it's like um you will see those in details later on um, and we can add some twirly wind like that in there and maybe grasses in the bottom and also dandelions. I'm just using a wax paper so I can toss it away when I'm done. For our background would be a bright day. So I'll be using a sky turquoise. Um, I think I have some ocean green in here that I can use. Um, of course, we will be using marsh black for the eyelashes. We want a long eyelashes for our pig later on. Um, I also have yellow already, so I want to be using some of the yellow. This is just a regular cadmium yellow. Uh, maybe some highlights in our grass. We can add some yellow in there. For the grass, I want to use the permanent green. So we'll be using permanent green. Any kind of permanent green you have will work. Um, light green for the highlights. You can add some more later on. Um, and then lime green, then yellow. I'll add that one later 
Um, let's work on our background first, then the pig and the grass. So I can use blue gray, a little bit of blue gray. I've been loving this blue gray so far. I'll be using a filbert brush. Let me focus the pig so we can see what we're trying to do here. Well, I'll be using a filbert brush. The blue gray in the corner would be my darkest color. I like to use dark color in the corner. If you've been following me, that's what I usually do. So you know my style. So just back and forth for your background. And add some titanium white just for some highlights. We don't want all dark in there. Just in the corners. In ocean green, add those ocean green. So it's just back and forth horizontal stroke. You can also do small strokes or long strokes. Don't forget to um, add some a little bit hint here and there on that blue gray. If you don't have blue gray, you can use a cobalt blue. If you somehow covered our sketch pig, don't worry about it, okay? Because we'll just paint it over. Anyways, like our tail in there, that was just for a sketching. Then we'll, we'll add it later on, so. And also in the horizon part, um, and some dark in there. This section in here, I want it darker. And I want it a little um too too light for me so i'll i went ahead and get some cobalt blue and add it in there you can paint the side if you want or just leave it on top as well Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, so it just depends. Just back and forth, back and forth. In this section in here, I want it lighter. I'll be using the ocean green and just a titanium white. A hint of the blue gray, but not too much. If you have too much in your brush, like this one, just wipe it off. Then add the titanium white. 
So, there you go. You are done. You can add some clouds, you know, cloud effect. Not too much. Maybe for just like a distance. We don't want to really focus on those much in there. But I'm just trying to break that line pattern. Because we don't want it shown as line as well. So I'm kind of dubbing it. Just dubbing it. We can come back on it later though. Alright, I'm done with my background. We're not going to add too much of a detail there. Alright, for the pig itself, I'll be using the portrait pink. Of course, the titanium white. We'll be needing that titanium white. Um, some parchment. And some of this Rosa. I'm not sure if you've seen the parchment and the Rosa. So just those three color for now. Three color should be enough for the pig itself. My Rosa is hardening. So I have to clean it out. I'll be using the flat brush so just add that portrait pink to our pig pig's head the chin so the rosa is in the chin or the pink and then parchment colors the chicks so don't worry about those um the nose the or the mouth that we just sketch don't worry about that. We will add that later. Just a place holder to know that it's in there. But So try to blend the rosa and that portrait pink 
And here is the mixture of the parchment. Okay. And adding a little bit of blue gray in just in here in the bottom, like a shadow on the chin. I'll get a burnt umber so it does show or pop my nose a little bit. I'm just adding that so you can see it better. But if you're doing it in here um, by yourself, I'm just trying to show it in a video. But if you're doing it just to do it, you can just use the pink. So I'm layering it with pink, then portrait pink. Okay, we can layer it again later when we're done. Um, our eyelid, I'm also using whatever is in my brush already. So that's our eyelid. It's like a concave. And there. For the ears, it would also help that burnt chana in the lower portion of it because in here it's like the inner of our ear lobe then the edge would be just a regular portrait pink so this this one is like flop. It wasn't like the other one that's out. You can use your finger to kind of blend them too. So and for now, I'll use the, the burnt umber as well in the outline of our mouth, smiling. If it's too much, just add some portrait pink, just like that, so. We can add more layer as well on our pig later on. So this chicken here is more brighter. As you can see this one is a little bit dark you can add more of that portrait pink the dark is still there just 
blend it really, really well. Okay. We want the forehead brighter a little bit. And I'm using the titanium white to highlight that ear in there. And some in here. This one in here as well, it just this edge needs to be highlighted. It's like the nose. Nose um, connection of that pig. A little bit of highlight in just this section right here. Just that part. This one. So our pig is smiling. I continue the other ear. Might not look much now, but I'm just using the portrait paint again. Just regular portrait pink then the burnt um shana for the shadowing of our ear And the edge in here is just the parchment color. The very end would be the titanium white. So our ear like listening. Just adding some highlights here and there. And some highlights here in the snout. Because it's not going to be all dark. Got some highlights too.
I'll be using a different brush. Detailed brush for the um, nostrils. I'll be using half of it are black and then the rest are just the chiana burnt chiana and we'll highlight the rest later on when it's dry this is just our first layer in there And let's add that smile again. I'm using the burnt chana. Now I wanna I wanna add that eye the lot the, the outline of the eye. Then I'll be using later on the marsh black for the eyebrow. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue our body. So we'll be using this same portrait pink. We'll get our bodies round. And this would be some of that parchment color. Just add this portrait pink in the rosa on those like edges and then the bottom just to give us some depth here in the chest part be blue gray and the rosa mixed with the portrait pink so it's the chest and just the edge so no details on the again no details on the feet the feet is covered with the grasses just adding all these edges here there you go and it's back to the feet and the body So try to do the stroke where you're like let's say this one this section in here would be one of that um leg so i'm trying to stroke um not just random stroke so if my leg is doing that way i'm stroke that way so that's one of the leg And that's the hips or the bottom. Okay. I'm just trying to fix this section in here. So if 
some paint goes in the background that's fine you can blend it together right so trying to give some highlights here the light source is going this way so, trying to add some of that titanium white Okay, and again, the important part, we don't forget the tail. So I'll be using the burnt chana. So our tail was in here. Let me forget the burnt chana. So we have a tail. Let me focus our tail. We have a tail going loopy, loopy. You can do just two loops or just one loop. I'm adding some marsh black, some section, but not all, just some section. Then we'll do the highlight for the pink. Just this edge and that one. Okay, that's our tail. Kitty kitty tail. Add some more highlights on the side. Okay. All right, while I'm in there and using the burnt chin. I'll go ahead and add the eyelashes. So let's focus the eyelashes. They're just going out. Mix with that titanium white a little bit, not a lot. Okay. Then the other one.
so that's a volume lashes in there and if you don't like volume i don't really like it it's just wet so i'm just rubbing it off i don't like it um adding another one the one that's not too wet so There you go. There's a piggy piggy. While we're there, we can highlight our nose. So we can do just a portrait pink just on the edge. And we use that other brush. It's a long detailed one. I want to use the small, small or short brush, detailed brush. The one that got hit with the light is got highlight in there. So that was a portrait pink and then this one is the burnt shiny next to it. Okay. Mix that. Go up in here and try to kind of blend them. And I'm adding that marsh black on the other side. And try to make it round. Like the whole nostrils. It looks better when you make it look round for this particular um particular painting I need to add more highlights it's not really showing the way I want it okay and I want to Make that nose really round, round, round. in here just having highlight just rubbing that paint in there I like some in here And in here. So I'm just adding those highlights. I'm adding too much. 
You think you add too much of a highlight or the white one, just add more of that portrait paint. Oh. Then the highlight at the bottom of this ear to highlight that part. There you go. Now I'm trying to fix this eyebrow. And that eyebrow there. Clean cube of our eye socket. I'm adding highlights some in here more. This is just a highlight, it's not nothing particular okay um, I want to add the the breeze that we're trying to create um, in that corner in there or adding the breeze so the breeze like like that and then twirl So I'm using the cobalt blue, some of the white and blue gray. I'm just using whatever I have in my palette. Ocean green and titanium black. So we're just pretending that there's an air movement that way. We can even add some of the pink just to no. Add some color. Just a, a hint, not a lot. Okay, so now we're doing the dresses. For the dresses, I'll be using the permanent green. So, I want, since our wind is blowing this way. The wind is blowing this way, so I want my grasses to be this way. So I'm using the flat brush, and then I'm just doing like this. Keep doing that. Um, to save some of this stuff going on, you can also use the burnt um burnt channel. To kind of like just do that everywhere for now. Um, not too much. To kind of fill in the gap some of it. Then just keep doing this. Uh, what I'm doing is just the slant. The long portion would be in the bottom and then just stroke up stroke up stroke up stroke up so stroke up stroke up stroke up and then I'm trying to kind of make a curve a 
much as possible. Like that. Like create some curves. This is our glasses. Once in a while I use this instead of just one stroke. I don't need to use a lot of stroke. Okay, just guiding it all over. So this is just permanent green for now. Then we'll add the light green, the lime green, probably some yellow, depends on how this turn out. So just add those glasses, those pretty glasses. Again, you can add some on the side. Since we already started the side, let's go ahead and add the side. Okay. And I'm wiping my brush, and I'll be using the light green. So just grab that light green that way and then do the same strokes. Not all. So the rest are permanent and then just kind of random. This is just the highlight. So not all of those grasses got hit with the light so just pretty random and then you can add another permanent on the front of those highlights as well And you're if you're already confident enough, you can mix back and forth the permanent and um, also you can add like once in a while like opposite stroke of those grasses. Right now, I want to add the lime green. So, those are really nice. Just like that. Okay, then some, not all grasses are green, so I'm using some of the burnt umber, 
like a random random place not all of these okay then I wanna add again especially in the bottom section I wanna add permanent green on those so use this up instead of this up and not too long it's like a short stroke just to cover the kind of root part of the grass so we don't see this one single strokes so it's like a to hide those and for the bottom just cover it so it's not that so just like that oops you didn't see it sorry there you go that's our grasses and we can add some since we have more paint anyways in here um, I'm also using the yellow and just add random random very random very very random So I still have some lime green. I wanna since the lime green is look like opaque color, so I'm just doing second layer where I stroke it. Because it wasn't showing as much. And then I'll be using the titanium white some. One section will have titanium white. All right, that's our grasses. Grasses is there and set. Let's add the dandelion. Okay, the dandelion would be have permanent green stem. So I'll probably here. I have a dandelion here. I'll add that stem in there. Then I highlight it with the light green. Then the lime green and the edge of that. Then, the, of course, dandelion is white. Add that blue gray that we have for the base. So, just like a uh, What do you call this? Like a cluster of lines. So you have a middle going out or going in. So it doesn't matter. It's a random, just a random um, streak out, streak in. So then the line need, don't need to be detailed or you can if you want don't want to get more of the details of our dandelion since 
not really the the focus. Our focus is the face of our pig piggy. Okay, that's one dandelion in there. You can add two or three more. Depends on how much you like. Let's highlight some of this in here as well on the okay. We have one dandelion. I'm probably adding one in here. I'm gonna add here. Hold that one and then the highlight. You can add some yellow, lime green, then of course the titanium white at the edge, edge. Then the dark section of our dandelion flower goes like that. Random in and out. And then the white, the titanium white. Like that. You can add multiple layers on your dandelion if you want. It's nice if you add more layer because it shows the volume and the depth. Okay, I'll add another layer when it's dry, but for now it's not dry. Um, I want a single dandelion white going in here, like a single one, just floating in the air. So my daughter loves to play dandelion. So that's one dandelion going in the air. And I'm adding that marsh black on the very end, maybe in the middle. So we have one that the line floating. You can add two maybe in here. You can add there. Since this is kind of bare. This section we have space in here, so we just want to fill it up. There's um, lights and white. And um, make sure the background section are darker. You don't want to add your dandelion in the cloud because it kind of blends. Okay, I'm adding highlight on the tail. If it's dry, probably the other dandelion is dry, so I'm adding more of the white. More of the white coming out. So this one in here. Don't worry 
about it. It doesn't need to be perfect. Remember, this is for beginners. And there you go. R. This is our um, happy pig in outdoor setting. He's just feeling the breeze and having a good time outside. Trying to finish the sides. Just trying to finish the section in here. And we should be good to go with our pig painting. So this is a simple how to paint a pig. So hopefully you do this. This is a great gift for little ones. And don't forget to sign your name. Sign my name in here. Our happy pig is done.